Diplomats accredited to the Holy See from around the world gathered in St. Peter's Basilica for a Mass for Peace and to hear directly from the Vatican's Secretary of State, Cardinal Pietro Parolin. Cardinal Parolin had a really powerful message today. He reminded all of us that all men and women have a duty to be peacekeepers. And he was also very clear that, as the Pope said, this is no special uh, operation, this is a war. The Vatican has strongly condemned the war in Ukraine in recent days, and Pope Francis has expressed his concern for the millions of refugees escaping Ukraine. He has sent two cardinals into the country to express his closeness to those fleeing war and publicly thanked nearby countries for welcoming them, such as Poland. We are helping our Ukrainian brothers as much as possible. There are already two millions of refugees in Poland, and there are more and more coming on. The Mass for Peace was an opportunity for the Vatican to promote its peace efforts with representatives from the world's governments, bringing members of the international community together in solidarity for peace, including both Russia and Ukraine's ambassadors to the Holy See, who were each seated in the front rows. I was glad to see that the Ukrainian ambassador was given a pride of place in, in spite of the protocol order. It was good to see that the Russian ambassador was there and I hope that his government is listening to the cries of the world for peace in Ukraine. Andriy Yorash arrived in Rome on March 3rd. As Ukraine's top diplomat to the Holy See, he has immediately been plunged in deep collaborations with the Vatican to advance potential negotiations between Ukraine and Russia. We want to see uh, Vatican, Holy See as a place where a representative of both countries can sit and to discuss openly any possible uh, situations and consequences and how to reach the aim, to reach peace. He says the Vatican is uniquely positioned to bring both sides to the table and is hopeful that Russia will respond to the Vatican's offer to mediate the conflict. Ukraine is completely ready to be here next day when it will be agreed. We are, as well as the Holy See, just waiting for positive response from other side, from Russia. Pope Francis made the unprecedented move of traveling to the Russian embassy to the Holy See after Russia launched its invasion. But the Vatican says that so far, Russia shows no signs of engaging them in talks. Still, Ukraine's new ambassador to the Holy See says he is deeply touched by the support of the diplomatic community in the Vatican.